morning, guys. So I have a six-month-old Aussie Doodle. Was groomed once before at three months. Um, they took them to another place here in Oklahoma City, and that um, place told the owner that they could only trim, you know, right here, and proceeded to charge them full price for a ba essentially a bath and nail trim and then trimming above the eyes. Um, I don't think that's fair by any means. Um, that's kind of messed up if you ask me. So they saw me on YouTube. They didn't realize I was in Oklahoma City and that close. Um, so they came to me. There is this guy in the parking lot that is walking back and forth and I don't know his motive. That's why the dog's barking. I'm going to go lock the door real quick. Come here. Come here. Um, because I am the only one here and I don't want to feel unsafe. Um, this guy keeps walking back and forth and there's no, the business, other businesses are not open right now. So, um, I'm going to, bleh, got distracted. I'm going to get him on a scale. Come up here. Come here. Come on. No. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. All right. About 46 pounds at six months. This guy's going to be pretty big. I'd say, eh, 70, 80-ish pounds. Um, I, they have brushed him out. They have done a really good job on... What do you see? What do you see? On keeping him brushed out. So, most of the time when dogs come in that are this long i have to shave them down because they're matted this dog is not so i'm gonna bathe him as is and then we'll give him a haircut but we're not gonna shave it because it doesn't need to be come on come on good boy good boy he's so good oh no down down no so a lot of times people ask me why I don't talk to them, why I don't praise them. Dogs can sense our energy and sometimes when you're talking to them, they get way down. No, they get way too excited. This is a puppy. Groomers have to do training with puppies to get them used to staying in the tub, staying on a table, getting used to the high velocity dryer noise getting used to the cage dryers, getting them used to the clippers. There's a lot of training that groomers have to do that people don't think about. And, you know, some people say that I'm harsh with them or that I'm mean. Down. No. Like that. I am being firm. I'm not being mean to him. I like this dog. He's a puppy. Um, but I have to train him that that is an unacceptable behavior here when we're getting groomed. We don't do that. Snap. Stay. Good boy. Um, so yeah, we have to train the dogs. You know, certain behaviors are not acceptable here. So we're gonna get started. And you know, here's, again, here's what he looks like before we get started. Okay, first things first, I am going to, no, down, no. I am going to, I'm gonna get a picture. And then we're just gonna get started. This is a bathing system. This is a save your fur bathing system. Um, I just have soap in here. When groomers get shampoo, it comes concentrated. I just mix it with some water and it sucks it up and it dilutes it some more and then out comes. So I have said this before in a video. Um, I came up a really good analogy, you know, no. Um, if a dog continues to jump up like that, I will take them and I will put them on the bottom. Um, but you have to be careful that they're not really pulling because they can pull the whole bottom shelf out. So a really good analogy that I came up with is comparing the bathing system to an electric toothbrush. So if you're hand bathing, 
versus, you know, using a bathing system, I compare that to using a manual toothbrush versus an electric toothbrush. The electric toothbrush does a lot of the work for you. You're not having to work as hard to get your teeth as clean or cleaner than using a manual toothbrush. So it's the same thing with hand bathing. Hand bathing versus using a bathing system. The bathing system is equivalent to an electric toothbrush. I don't have to work as hard to get the dog as clean or cleaner than, you know, hand bathing. Um, today I'm using the Bark to Basics Honey Almond. I really, really, really like the scent of this um, product. So what I mean by, you know, it's, it's equivalent is that when I put this on, it is continuously, you know, continuous soapy water, warm water that is going over the dog rinsing away debris, dead skin cells, dirt, oils. Um, you know, if I do hand bathing, then the dirt and soap and all of that is literally sitting on the dog's coat. And so, you know, it has to be, it has to, you know, we have to wait to rinse that off. And then a lot of times we have to soap up and rinse the dog you know, three or four times to get them completely clean. Well, that may take you, you know, 15, you know, even up to 30 minutes if you've got a super hairy dog. With this, you know, it's continuous clean soapy water that's going over the dog, rinsing that stuff away. So it's not, you're not having to work as hard. You're not having to use as much shampoo and water and everything anal glands i know there's a debate on whether or not you should do anal glands on dogs 100 i think you should um i've had dogs come in where their anal glands are so impacted that you know they're on the verge of needing surgery to fix them Dogs nowadays are not eating their quote unquote natural diet. They're eating dry kibble and wet dog food and that's not what they're biologically made to have. And so, you know, their poops tend to be a little softer than they should and the more firm poop is what naturally, you know, expresses those anal glands. You want to make sure to get all of that soap out. Oh boy, you're so sweet. Can I move you over here? Will you stay down? Come here. Good boy. So the temperature that I, of the water, no, that I use is the same temperature that I would use on myself. Now, if you're using scorching hot water for your baths, please don't do that for your dogs. You're okay. We need some conditioner, you're a little dry. Not all dogs get conditioner. They don't need it. Why did I wear this shirt today? I don't know. So the reason we dilute conditioner and shampoo is it goes on easier. You're not having um, a lot of, you know, shampoo concentrate in one area. It's easier to rinse out and it just gets the dog cleaner. Okay, so that was a little too much conditioner, but that was the end of the bottle. It shouldn't be 
shouldn't be blue like that. There's a couple dogs I've done that on, but it's okay. It just takes a little longer to rinse. This will just help me, you know, brush out his coat afterward. So why do I not brush out coats before the bath? Well, if a dog's coat is matted, I'm not gonna sit there and hurt the dog because the owner cannot maintain the dog's coat. If the owner cannot maintain the dog's coat, then, you know, my quote is humanity over vanity. If the owner does not have the time or does not want to maintain the dog's coat, I am not going to sit there and try to undo months and months and months of not brushing a dog. That is torture. That is not fair for the dog at all. I'm just not gonna do that. And so if a dog comes in and they're matted, they're getting shaved. It's the only humane thing to do. You know, I'm not grooming show dogs. These are not show dogs, these are pets. They don't need to have their long, you know, flowing, luscious coat year round. They're inside dogs, they're not living outside. So these are clean towels. Um, you can see that my shelf is very full of shampoo. Uh, right now, it looks like this is the only one besides the flea and tick shampoo and dip that is open. So I will open about four of these and put them up here and it'll make some more room. But I'm gonna get a bigger shelf so I have just more room for storage. Are you talking to me? No. Down. Down. No, we're not doing that. So I'm just gonna dry him the best I can with a towel. Um, he is a puppy, so I don't know how he's gonna tolerate it, but if he's gonna have a semi-long coat, um, you know, longer coat than like a four, then he's gotta get used to the high velocity dryer. So I'll start it on low. I'll start it on low. Okay, he's doing okay. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more.
boy. No map. Okay, so he did really good. He did really good. I was looking for Shoshin, but it's over at the table. Down, no. So I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna put him in the cage dryer. I'm glad he let me do the high velocity dryer because if not, he would have taken a really long time to dry because his coat is so long. Um, the high velocity dryer just helps break up the, the hair so it's not all clumped together. Come here. So I'm gonna lift him up and he's gonna go in this top cage dryer. They are not in here any longer than an hour. They are perfectly fine. Okay. You know, can stand up just fine. They're not living in it. They're just getting dry. So these cage dryers are temperature regulated, meaning if it gets too hot, they shut off. So I've never had one completely shut off. I've had it knocked down to low, um, but there's lots of ventilation. There's ventilation on the front. There's ventilation on the bottom. Um, yeah, it's fine. Never had a dog over here. I know, I know you're gonna talk to me. I know you're gonna talk to me. I know. We'll get you out as soon as you're dry, okay? Okay, so one of the things I need to do real quick while that dog is drying is to go through and open some more shampoo. Um, right now, I only have one more thing of shampoo that is currently open besides the flea and tick shampoo and dip, and I don't use them very often. So I have the, I have some bright white and then I have the facial cleanser and then I have some, jeez, where did it go? All the way down. Yep, there it is. Chub bar. Um, this is an empty one for like conditioner and stuff. So like I have said, I'm going to use um, the stuff that is open first, or not that's open first, that that was bought first. So that would be the, it would be these three things, these three rows right here. Um, this just, I just brought this in. Um, this shampoo right here and this down here um, was bought by viewers and subscribers off of the Rover's wish list. So this right here, I'm going to use, I have to use first because this was bought in January and this was bought this month, which is April. So I'm going to take this and take this tape off. I usually do this when I get it because it's a struggle to get this off. So I just take that off. I just come down here and I'm gonna get my pumps. When I am done with a pump, I make sure to rinse it with lots of water so there's no residue left in there. So all I do is just Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I usually have to squirt some of this out or squirt it up into the pump um, for it to go down in there. Okay, so there's one. It's open and ready to go. And so this next one is gonna be this one. And for these, I just go like that and I just put it down in there and just break it that way. This one's not as full, 
so I don't have to do that. Put that one on. Um, I do keep a lot of these caps, but if you groom a lot of dogs like I do, you'll end up with hundreds of caps um, in a year or whatever. So I don't keep all my caps. I have three or four in there. And so now um, I have a bright white and a lavender and then the griminator for really dirty dogs. So now I think um, I'm not going to do... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this black shampoo. It just removes brassy undertones. And again, I'm gonna have to bring this up in there so I can put it on. Okay. That smells really good. And I'm gonna do one more I have plenty of these pumps. I, I use them a lot. And so, actually I'm gonna do a few more. I like to have this whole top um, one open so then I can pick whatever scent I'm feeling for the day. So I'll just go ahead and open that blueberry one also. That is back there. This is um, Rainbow Forest. Oh yeah, that smells good. And so I'm just going to push that all the way down in there. And then get one last pump and we'll do this blueberry. And you can see how much room that opens up, but I wait until my top shelf is almost empty before I do any more. And so that is all shampoo that was bought in January. This one was bought in January too, but we already have one of those open. When it gets used, then we'll do that. But that is how I do my shampoo. Um, so I'll put this up front and then I'll just scoot all this down. And so I, you have to rotate your shampoo. Um, if you guys don't write what or when you bought your shampoo, you need to, you have got to keep track of, you know, how long you've had stuff and use that stuff first. So you can see like that freed up a lot of space. Like I thought, it looks like I have a lot of shampoo, um, but for example, this one right here will last me, if I do a gallon of mix a day. So really big, nasty dogs, like um, let's say a 120 pound Pyrenees, they'll go through a whole gallon of that. Um, but if I have four small dogs, I can go through one gallon a day. So on average, you know, this one will make um, about five gallons of shampoo. This one will. And so that's five days. So this maybe lasts me a month. Maybe. Um, I go through a lot of shampoo. A lot of shampoo. Um, there's a lot of people that will skimp on it because it is expensive. Shampoo is not cheap and they will skimp on it and absolutely not. I would 100% um, rather have too many suds than not enough because these people are paying their hard earned money to get their dog groomed and groomed properly. And if you're not bathing the dog properly, every the whole groom's going to be a nightmare then because a good haircut starts with a clean coat so that's it um you know i've got my blueberry my d-mat undercoat removal down here i've got my there it is oh, that's what i was looking for that needs to go up there um this is disinfectant i use this for laundry and cleaning um, mopping, disinfecting, the spray I use on the table and everywhere else is that diluted. Um, so I go through a lot of that. Um, last year when COVID hit, it was being bought out and I was afraid that I was not going to be able to have any disinfectant for my business, which I have to have. And so I went and bought about 20 gallons of this and the people looked at me at Home Depot like I was crazy and I was like hey it's for a business and it's being bought out and I have to have it for my business so that's why you know this one still says July 2020 on it um, but I go through that pretty quickly I do 10 pumps 
So a gallon lasts about 12 loads of laundry and then it lasts about um, five moppings. So, you know, I'll go through four or five gallons a month. Um, but yeah, we're waiting until they're dry and then we'll get them finished. All right, so you can see it looks like the legs have been trimmed a little bit, maybe. Um, so I'm going to try to match the body with the legs just because I don't want it to look funny. So this is the wall Arco. Um, I had put this on the Rover's wish list and it was bought by someone. This thing is amazing. So it's a five in one blade. And so like this one is a nine. You go over one, 10, 15, 30, 40. So I'm going to leave it on a 30. And we're just going to do these paw pads. You're okay. So I'm just letting him smell it. Um, you know, it is only his second time to be groomed, his first time to be groomed here. He still has to get used to things. Um, so if they want to smell things, you know, make sure you let them smell things. This definitely cannot be used as like a full body trimmer. It's just not powerful enough. But for like face, feet, and fanny, 100%. It's great. Easy boy. Hey, what are you doing? You're okay. Buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, we're not doing all that. We're not doing all that, okay? I'm not hurting him. He just doesn't like it. Just not used to it. But we got to get all this off. The reason we trim these paw pads is it prevents matting and it increases traction. So I'm going to switch this to the 10. We're going to do the sanitary. You guys know me. I like a wide sanitary, especially on a puppy. guy is intact. It sounds like that because I need to switch batteries. That's why it's sounding like that. Easy. Oh. 
And to be clear, that was not a fully charged battery that I just had in there. So now I'm gonna take my slicker brush. You can find this in the link down below in the Amazon storefront. And we're just going to brush his entire coat out. The owners have done an amazing job at keeping this guy brushed out. Puppy fur is notorious for getting matted because it's so fine but this dog is not. It's just not something I see very often. Again, we have to teach him that pawing is not an appropriate behavior on the table. He may be able to do that at home, but here, when we're grooming, it's not an appropriate behavior. Hey, bud. So we got that brushed out. Now I'm gonna put a 30 blade on the clippers and we are going to, that's another reason why you want the loop to be tight. You can see if I stand here, he's wanting to get on me and it does not allow him to get on me. If he were to do that and it was loose, he would potentially fall off the table and flip at the table. My table will actually, flip over if they do that. So we definitely don't want that. <sighs> yes, I just tried to put that on the... Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't wanna cut this super short at first. I wanna see the length. So right now I'm gonna be using a, hey, you're okay a one and a quarter inch guard. Okay, I'm just gonna turn him and we're just gonna start. They said, do what you think is best pretty much. Um, and I really don't wanna cut all this coat off because it's a beautiful coat. I just wanna make it a little more even and cut some of that puppy coat off. Hey. Um. So there's been some comments of, why do you shave all the dogs? Why do you do this or that? Um, I do what I feel is necessary for the dogs. If they're matted, they're gonna get shaved down. That's not. It's not fair for the dog. I have to think about the dog and the owners. You know, not just what the owner wants. You know, I have to be the voice for the dog. So this is a one, 1 1.25 inch guard. So you can see if I lift this up, there is a good, you know, two and a half inches of, of hair there. So this is not a shave, this is a groom. I do have a client that is supposed to be here in about 15 minutes, so I will have to stop and help them and then finish this groom. I'm gonna text the owner too and just ask them what went on here because it looks like from from here down was shaved 
Um, and I don't know, I mean, I can blend this to where you won't, won't really be able to tell and I'll be able to do it on the front so it, it looks better. But I just don't know if they want clean feet on this dog or what. Um, clean feet, I probably will not do on this dog um, just because of the age and the amount of times that they have currently been groomed. You're stinking it up, boy. You stink. You stinkies. But yeah, see how this, these clippers are just very easily going through the coat. I'm not having to struggle. There's no matting. This coat is in immaculate condition. I don't get dogs in very often where the coat is this brushed out. It just doesn't happen. Very, very nice coat. Come on. You know, we have to train them how to turn because they've got to turn. Stand up. You're okay. So I have a strange request for you guys. If you guys see any of these, the Andis Detachable Plus 2 Speed, and you see them and you would like to get me some, please do. Um, they, I believe they are discontinuing them and these are my favorite clippers and I can't find them anywhere. So if you guys have any in your stores by you, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, I've looked online, everywhere that I go is sold out. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Hi. Had I known that they were gonna discontinue, I probably would have bought five or six pairs. So I'll probably go down um, a, a guard or two for the legs, just to blend them a little better, because it's, it is puppy fur, it's not adult coat. You're okay. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty nice looking coat. So, can you sit? I'm gonna take this off. No, sit, sit. He's got a no to stay on the table. No, sir, no. Good boy. I don't care if he keeps his paw on my chest. I just don't want him like constantly pawing. Hang on, bud. You're okay. You're okay.
Good boy. Hang on, bud. Okay. So I'm gonna put him back on. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Sit. Sit. You know how to sit? No. Okay. So I'm gonna. Not acceptable. No, we don't do that. I just realized I didn't eat or I didn't eat breakfast. It's almost 10:30. Oops. Happens when you get caught up in working. Okay, so when you're doing guards, you have to go over places multiple, multiple times. You can't just go over it once and call it good. Um, it's not gonna look right. Because as the dog moves, it fluffs up, and you just want a the most natural look possible. So I'm going to go down two guards. So this is a 7 8 And, you know, you can't do this with blades, but with guards, you can. It still looks like a natural leg. This up here is just a little bit longer than down here. It's going to look natural. Gonna do the same thing. Stop, buddy. Same thing on here. So I'm not trying to be mean, but when dogs get their face in my face, I don't care if they're the friendliest thing in the world, it still makes me a little nervous because you don't, yeah, that's the edge of the table. You don't always know 100%, you know, that a dog is not going to bite. So that's why I don't like dogs' faces in mine. Okay, I may, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to go down even lower on those front legs and on the, the back hocks just to let them look a little better. So I'm gonna go down to, this is a five, my battery died. I'm gonna go down to a five eights. 
Ooh, that sounds terrible. My next client is here. All right, we're back with this guy. I ate breakfast real quick. This is a 5'8". You're okay. He's been in the cage a little bit, so he's a little nervous. And a reason I don't want them licking me is I don't know where their mouth has been. I don't know if they've been, you know, there's dogs that eat dead animals and just stop and stuff like that. So that's another reason that I don't want them right in my face. And this guy doesn't, but a lot of them have really, really nasty smelling breath. Buddy, you're okay. You're okay. That's the edge of the table. I'm not pressing all the way down when I'm doing this. I'm just skimming over it because there's some hair that I missed. All right, so now I'm gonna check the nails. There's not much to trim on the nails. I don't know how he's gonna tolerate the Dremel. He's doing okay with it. Easy. Okay, those can't be trimmed, it's, they're short. Usually the uh, back nails are sh shorter. Oh, 
You're okay. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, buddy. So we gotta remember this is a puppy. Um, you know, things are probably not gonna be perfect, but we wanna get it the best looking that we can. Owners are really, usually really understanding. Sorry guys, I got the hiccups. Ate too fast. I was trying to get done so I could get, get done with this guy. So I'm petting his chest while I do his legs. So he's concentrating on the petting instead of me doing the legs. Okay, so now for his head, um, <laughs> sit. Sorry, guys, I got the hiccups. Sit. No, uh -uh. I'm not trying to play. Stop. Good boy. I usually don't trim the head shorter than the body, but his head was so fluffy that I'll take a comb.
quit. Forgot to bring my chunkers today. It's going to blend some of this just a little bit better. You're okay. No, down. We're not doing all that. Just trying to blend a little a little bit. Oh my goodness, these hiccups. It's funky hair growth. Stop. You're okay. So, gonna get a bandana. Let's see. He's a puppy still, so we'll choose this one. It's Dumbo. Stop. Doggy cologne, and he is all done. He's an Aussie doodle, so he's Australian Shepherd Poodle Mix. Mix. All right, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That it wasn't a shave down. Uh, check out the links down below. Um, the Amazon storefront is everything I use and recommend. If you're looking for that, it's down below. There are links for the Oklahoma Humanitarian Relief Team. We go out every weekend. Our goal is to help 100 people and hand out 100 food and drink bags and hygiene kits. And we are able to do that because of subscribers and viewers like yourself. We get donations and then we go out every weekend um, or most weekends and try to help as many people as we can. We load up my truck and we take it out. And if you guys are interested in that, the YouTube channel um, is down below and you can see us packing the bags and helping people and passing them out. And so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.